Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Splatoon 2. So let's go to level 24, since we're in the last world. Let's do Transfer Junction, Interest Intersection of the Soul. Interesting title. Let's see how we go. Oh, this one, okay, interesting. This one is very interesting with different weapons, because you can actually take a few shortcuts near the end. But it is also very interesting because it has moving platforms. Watch your step! You only know us oily... Uh, the text is gone already. It's a real problem that the text just goes by too quickly for me to keep up with. But anyway, let's go over here. Nope, that's going away. That's also another problem that I have with this level, is that the platforms always go away as you're getting to them. So if you're wanting to get the fastest time, it's it's difficult because you, you can't get it faster than it is, basically. But anyway, let's keep going over this way. Why you go away when I'm trying to... Ah, this is... See, this, see this, is, this is what I mean. It just goes away as you get to it, so you can't jump onto it immediately. I guess it's a good thing so you can't accidentally just jump at it too early and fall off, but still, I feel like there's a better way of doing this. There's the Sardinium up there. Let's just try and grab that carefully. Just gonna stay on top of this, I guess. Gonna need to take out all that. Splash everything. Get fish eggs. Also, hang on. There's some Blocks underneath me, isn't there? No, I got those already. Okay. Just making sure that didn't miss anything. Rock the block, rock, rock, block, rocker. Okay. Need to take out these guys. It's fairly simple enough. Then we need to go up this way quickly and carefully, as always. Also, hitting those blocks is interesting with all the different weapons because of where they're positioned. And trying to go fast hitting those is also difficult. But anyway, we have these platforms going up and down now, so let's try and splash everything. Carefully. Why? Ah, why do you move away as I jump? <laughs> this is making me mad now, it's sad. Gonna grab that. It's difficult to do things right sometimes. <laughs> okay, just gonna hit you. I saw that there's a thing of fish eggs down there, but I'm gonna leave that for the moment and just go this way. Carefully. Okay. Don't think there's anything else over there. I could be wrong. Okay, but we've reached this part. No baddies here. Are the Octarians on lunch break? No, they're just busy doing other stuff. This platform goes up and down. We need to splash that there, splash that there, splash that. Ah, I fell off. It's fine though. Also, it spins, so it's going to be at a different angle when you reach the top, which makes it very difficult to know where I'm supposed to actually be. Hang on, I need to be over here, don't I? Yes. Splash that. Splash that, maybe. Nope, I fell. I was being too greedy. <laughs> and I have to do all that again. I might just do it the normal way. It's easier with different weapons than the, the slosher. But if you can do it, you can basically skip this entire section. Which is basically split into two areas because you have to take out these enemies. There's also that up there that we need to hit, which is the other one that you need to worry about. But if you have the right weapons, you can definitely skip that one, basically just getting it. Okay. Octocopters. Octobomber. Also, we definitely didn't need to do this one, but now it's on all rotating. Which is alright, I guess. Again, I feel like it would just be better to just have a different weapon, take it all out quickly. Also, the way it rotates makes it interesting because you have to hit it on all sides anyway, so... You have to wait for it to be at the right angle. 
Is that the last angle? No, there's that one there. Okay. It's gonna be waiting here, I guess. Maybe. Hang on. There we go. Now there's a key in the middle, which I jumped off too early for. Let's grab that. If you can skip this area, I would recommend it, basically. Let's grab that and go. We're missing the sea scroll. That's interesting. I wonder where that is then. Because I don't think it's here. It still has to be earlier than this, so. Anyway. Unless there's something off the edge. Don't think so. Let's grab that. Just more on the back of your head. So we need to go back in there and find out where the sea scroll is. It's probably earlier on in the level, though. But maybe I can use a different weapon to, uh, skip some stuff, maybe. What would be good for that, though? I don't really know. Let me get the... this thing. I can't remember what it's called. You're the best, Agent 4. Okay, so there's that there, which is just fish eggs. There's these two platforms here, so it divides. Also, you probably want to be on this platform so you can get across faster, I guess. But it, it feels like you should be on the other side because that's the one that's active, I guess. Hmm, I wonder if that has something to do with it. I feel like it does. There it is, right there, okay. There you go, snooping around again. Yeah, it's a sea scroll. I need this. It's important. Okay, that's all of the sides done. So let's go up. Then I think I can just throw that up there, right? Yep, there we go. Let's grab the key, skipping two things there. And now we're at the end. New time. As well as all the collectibles. I found the- I found the collectible even though I- Yeah. I found the sea scroll and I still got a faster time. That's impressive. <sighs> Just a little bit. I still could probably have a better time than that though. Which is what I'm gonna come back for later though. This looks to be a thesis on a massive weaponry employed by o the Octarians. Specifically, this research- research shows how sentient tentacles are implanted in their machines as a means of control. This science is at least 15 years ahead of the rest of the world. Interesting. Anyway, let's go to the next level. Number 25. I only have three levels left to go. Platform Madhouse. Please, mind the gap. have to use the Hero Splat Link for this. I really love the space theme of this last world. That's kind of what they do in the Splatoon games, is they make it like floaty platforms and all that in the- at least in Splatoon 1 and 2. I don't know about 3 yet. Okay, let's go. Try and take all this out. And also want to make sure I'm- <laughs> also want to make sure I'm not missing anything. We have to go back this way though. Ow. 
There's a box there. I'm gonna break the box. I'm gonna also try not to die, because that'd probably be good. Okay, there's the key done. There's also that box there, which is just fish eggs. I don't think there's anything important over here, so I'm just gonna leave. Oh, it's this level, okay. You always remember this level because you probably don't like these platforms up ahead, so. Just because you have to jump between them and then there's also knockback, which is really annoying. If you've ever had knockback, you know how annoying it is. Because it just knocks you off the edge for no reason. And you'll probably ha have a lot of knockback issues when you're trying to go fast, so. Because you go right into where something spawns and then it pushes you back because you're not supposed to be that close. And it kills you anyway. I feel like that's a, a backwards way of having that problem. But anyway, we also hit you. This level's also interesting with the different weapons because you can't hit certain things extremely well. Like these enemies here. And these switches as well. But this one's a good ranged weapon so it means I can... Walk right off the edge. Also, there's stuff down there, actually, that you can see in the underground. Interesting. I've not noticed that before. Okay, careful. What's that arrow splitting like that is really interesting. I spy switches up ahead. Good on you. You did it. Okay, hit that, please, and then hit the one over here as well. Maybe take you out if possible. Like that. Okay, let's jump across again. Let's take everything out over here. Take cover behind that wall. Nah, I'm just gonna take them all out. Just like that. I feel like... Nope, nothing, okay. It's just, just worth checking. Okay. Still no collectibles, that's worrying. Let's hit all those. Don't let these moving platforms throw you through a loop. Basically, just don't fall off the edge of the platforms because they're rotating around themselves, so it's easy to fall off. Very easy to fall off, especially if you're trying to go fast and jump onto a platform before you're supposed to be on that platform. Can't reach that. Also, what is happening with the camera right now? It's fine. I'll just take you out. Also, there's an interesting person over here, so let's try and take him out. Like that. They're, they're quite a strong enemy, so... Getting pretty close to the end, but I'm still concerned about collectibles. I we should have seen one at least by now. But I think the last one is actually further forward. Still. That was a risky play, but it's okay. Let's get onto the wall. Stick to that wall like... Stink on the Octo Ink? Is that what that said? I don't know. What's the hello? Sardinium. Okay. Glad that I have that. And I think the last collectible is still further forward, so both of the collectibles are actually at the end. Also, this is interesting because we have this switch over here that we need to keep shooting with ink. Which can be difficult with other weapons because of range. Let's go through that. I think they put in more switches, though, possibly, for other weapons. Just make sure you can do it, but still. Hello, Octobomber. I'm going to take you out. Just keep going. Just keep going. Probably want to make sure we have plenty of extra ink going into this next bit, because this is going to start tilting. Also, you kind of have to use bombs for activating some of these switches as well. Come on, hit the thing. But over here is a switch that I want to hit, which allows us to super jump over this way. Huh? Is this some long-forgotten deserted island? Kind of, but anyway, let's super jump up here. Let's take out all these boxes to get the sea scroll, which is at the very end of the level. Technically past the level, end of the level, if you think about it. Anyway, smooch. 5.10 is not a bad... It's not a terrible time. It could be better, but still. Not terrible. It's kind of an average. Average time. 
But there we go. My dearest Kelly and Marie. Stop. On a research trip to the Cape with Agent 3. Maybe late, but left f dinner in the fridge. Okay, let's go to the next level. Wow, we have two levels left. Cool. Paradise Lanes. Get the ball rolling. Phew, another one in the bag. Indeed. I knew that there was a, a thing at the end of that level, but I couldn't remember where the Sardinium was. I have to use the Hero Roller. And once again, we have these bowling ball things. But I think it's going to get more interesting as it gets into further further into level, so. Let's try and stay alive, though. With these things shooting at us. That's how you do it. Indeed. Oh, cool. More spinning platforms. <laughs> Need to be careful. I'm just trying to get up the platform, but it's difficult. Yep, stick to the one way for the right timing if I were you. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> you know, that timing thing. Ah, why knock back? Ah, knock back. I really do not like knock back. If you couldn't tell. I'm just going to ignore the enemies. Don't need to wait for the right timing. I can just go around the edge. It's fine. Don't get rolled on. Hmm. Hmm, don't get rolled on. What's this here? Sardinium, cool. There's also some ink storms that we can activate while we go across here. Come on, get it, grab it. Okay, good. The ink storms aren't that helpful, but it's still pretty good to grab them. Go, go! Maybe take a second to plan your route before rushing forward. Nah, I'm good. Time jumps and go, go, go. Go, go, go. Phew, you made it. Yeah, I was surprised too. Look at those octobolas. They're actually pretty magnif magnificent. They're also stacked on top of each other somehow. Need more ink. Even with the fully upgraded tank, it's still a problem. But we can use these gushes to take out these octobolas. Somewhat. Okay, we need to go to the other side of this as well. To get the rest of the things. Please, don't kill me, thank you. There's a sea scroll, and that's everything, so let's get going. Basically. I like the sound effect that plays when you jump over that. Okay, we've got ourselves a big one. Yep, that's a pretty big one. But we've also got these to hit. That will push things around. Or pull things away. I'm in trouble. I'm still alive, somehow. Oh, I need to hit this quickly. And get out of the way. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna really destroy myself at some point. Also, that thing was just rolling on the switch. It's fine. Hello. I'm gonna wait for you to just roll over me. Let's activate that. A whole bunch. Okay. Also need to take out these enemies over here. If possible. Which I think they'll just take themselves out because they're going to get into the path of the bowling ball. Yep. Well, that's a shame for them. Also, I need to run because that oct octoball is going to get me. But there we go. 352. Again, that's probably above average. But I could do a lot, a lot faster if I had upgraded weapons. We got all the collectibles. This is going a lot more smoothly than I thought it would. 
through some of these levels. Because we had so much trouble with the first one, but all the rest of these are, I'm breezing through. Calamari Research Labs, video log, number 5628. This coffin-like device is a historical relic of the old world and is kept under strict lock and key. I unplugged it by accident while cleaning the other day, but it seems to still be running somehow. I believe that's Judd's, um, like, time capsule, basically. But there we go, now we're up to the last level already. How did this happen? Oh, it's a ink octoling level as well. Octoling workout. F uh, forge those muscles. Get to choose whatever we want to go into this. Let's pick the hero shot, I think. Just one more level and then the boss kettle. Those octolings just don't quit. You know the drill. Let's get those little fishies back. Let's do it. We also need to make sure we get the collectibles as well. Which I don't think should be too bad. Also, there's going to be one right here, so I'm going to wait. Just blow you up with the splash damage from the thing there. Also, I didn't need that, I don't think. Probably. I say that now. Also, there's a few ways to go around the level to be efficient, but I'm probably not going to be efficient at all, so... Not at all. Because I'm looking for secrets. You can definitely... Th this one's probably my favorite level to do quickly. Probably. Because you can go in all sorts of directions to do it well. I don't like being hit by the enemy. It's fine. Put that up. Surely there's one hiding in the ink somewhere over here. Fish eggs. And this is, of course, another reskinned level from multiplayer. I should have picked a better weapon than this. One that actually has dodge rolls or something. Oh, hello. There's more. Oh my goodness. What is happening right now? They're actually playing quite well, considering their computers. You usually overthink, or under... Yeah. Usually under... I don't know what the word is. You think they're easy to take out, but they're actually pretty good. Especially these ones, which have kelp on them. Okay. Take this out. Try and blow that up. Okay. Still missing the collectibles, though. What's this text going on at the bottom of the screen? I can't keep up with it because it's going away faster than I can realize that it's there. I'm surprised I didn't hit that, but anyway. Let's grab that. Two more to go. Let's grab that. Hidden box there. Okay. There's the Sardinium. And I expect that the other thing is going to be here. Let's grab that. There's a meal ticket that I could grab. Just one more to go. There's also this over here that I can grab. Tenta missiles. Interesting. Take you out. Let me go up this way. Because there's that box over there. Next to spawn point if I can reach it somehow. Okay, it's just fish eggs. Okay, so I'm missing the... ...thing somewhere. Which I expect is actually... ...right here. Right? Am I wrong? I feel like it's supposed to be right there. Because I think it's in a spot that you walk over you don't think it's going to be anything there, but it is. Possibly. Might be wrong about it. I'm going to take my time finding it, though, because I've, I've already done everything else, so I might as well 
get it now. I don't like that I can't jump my full height jump when there's stuff there. So maybe it's just, I'm pretty sure it's hidden in the ink somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Two hours later. Oh, hello. What are, you, what are you guarding over here? Just some fish eggs? Okay. That's what they all say. Also, it's probably actually just up here and I just missed it. No, I got everything up here. I think I could probably hide the, the hide it better than the... <laughs> nah, no. If I'm not finding it, then it's probably hidden better than I could hide it. <laughs> but there are so many other places that I, ex I expect it to be hidden. There it is, and it's on my side. It's where I thought it was, but it's on my side, I guess. I don't know. But now we just need to make it to the end, because there's no Octolings left to defend. More. 458 could be a lot faster, especially in this, these levels. Because they go by a lot faster. But there we go, that's the last level complete. Oh Judd, when your capsule opens in the future, you may find yourself alone. Should that be the case, I ask you to re-energize the capsule once again. Oh dearest Judd, I only hope that you can forgive me for all I've put you through. It's interesting that Judd likes sleeping in this game considering he was in a capsule for a long time. Also, forgetting all of the um, sea scrolls. Once again, if you look in the bottom right corner and flick through each page, it does a little animation. Which if I do like this, you can see it in quick time. But there we go. Let's go to the end. Alright, let's do this. Just need to make it over there. If I had more fish eggs, that'd be good, though, because I'm 400 away from upgrading my hero shot to the max, which is which is incredible for the hero shot. The hero shot is in ab absolutely... It's, it's so it's so good. Also, I probably should have just stayed on that. It's fine. Well, I'm over here now, so... Just need to wait for one of the blue platforms to come through so I can get across. And here we go. Bomb rush blush. Tide goes out. <laughs> Have to use the hero shot for this mission. And while we're here, I want to point out that this arena is based on Incopolis from Splatoon 1. It's got the crosswalk in the middle. Just want to point out that out before we go. Wait, is that... Callie? I told you to leave! Kelly, why? Now you leave me no choice. Prepare to be rocked. Hey, DJ! DJ Octavio, featuring Kelly. Octobot King 2. Octavio in the house. Yeah, I remixed Kali's brain. Time for the first song of the night. 
Bomb Rush Blush. Time to drop the beat down. Spin it, DJ. So once again, we need to shoot the fist back at DJ Octavio. That's it, Agent 4. Show no mercy. Watch out for his spinning punches, because they they just can't be sent back. They just are strong. Blushing faces covered in it pink. Rushing bombs exploding ink. Come on. Also, this is interesting with different weapons, because some weapons use up ink a lot more than they should without actually spreading ink <laughs> everywhere that you need to be to dodge around, basically. Come on, Octavio. Snap out of it, Kelly. Giant ink bombs. Try and cover some area. Oh, two, double. Dodge out of the way. Dodge out of the way again. Also, don't fall off the edge. Pro tip. Okay, he's dropping some ink with shower attack. So I need to dodge the side. So I'll send that back. Send that back. Octavio is exposed. This is your chance, Agent 4. Huh. Callie, it's me, your cousin Murray. Try to remember. DJ. Drop that spicy wasabi beat. Gahaha, <laughs> coming with that, that hotness. Don't hold back, Agent 4. He's raising up. Shoot those back. Something's coming. Can you shoot? Oh boy, we need to shoot those before they explode. Because they make things that we have to dodge. Basically. Once they explode. Okay, interesting, very interesting, very interesting. Gonna try and paint some more area so I can move around. Now the bomb rush. Oh, it's stick, st sticky bombs. Is that the right word? I think, think, think it, that's what they're called. Okay, painting again. Oh boy, two. Try and get both of those. You can still hit them in the, if they're in the ground, which is nice. I'll be there soon. Just hold on a little while longer. Okay, he's gonna ink up that area that I was just painting over. You're supposed to be opposite. To where where they are, so okay. Need to touch that. Also need to probably have some extra ink ready if I need it. Like right now. Very nice. Octavius down. It's all you, Agent Four. That's two hits. And look who's here. I'm here. Hold on. No! The Hypno Shades! Yes, that was a direct hit with my special Low Tide Ink! Ugh! Now, Agent 4, while Kelly is stunned, make DJ Octavio pay! Time to turn the tables! Spicy Speed Mode! Also, this music. He's fast, watch out for his dash punch! This music is really good. Highly recommend listening to it. Agent 4, keep it up. I'm going to sing from here. Oh, we'll dodge that. But we need to hit this one. This sounds so cool. The music is always so good. Okay, dodge those. Need to recover some ink. Okay, dodge. Okay, put both of these back if I can. Like, nope, missed one. It's fine. Okay, he's painting. Just dodge out of the way. Probably gonna go back over this way. I'm, I'm too busy listening to the music now, I'm sorry. Turn one. Wake up, Callie! Huh? Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Ow. Just gonna chill for a second. Try and live. Oh, hello. Speaking of living. 
I might be in trouble. It's fine. Try and use that. Curling bomb to get around. Need to hit this fist back. There we go. That one. Looks like we're doing alright. All these again. But also, they like to throw something at you as soon as they get those out, so you need to be careful. Okay. Dodge that. Octavius down! Get him, Agent 4! My... my head! The low tide ink is working! Callie, remember! That heavenly melody. The one and only. I... I remember. Yeah! The Squid Sisters are back! Get a new weapon. The Rainmaker. Agent 4, I brought you a model version of the Rainmaker. Hold down the utter burst to build pressure, then release it to shoot an ink missile. Alright, Agent 4, show me what you can do with that modified Rainmaker. So let's go ahead and shoot that out. Just sh spray everywhere. Follow him, Agent 4. End this. Get an ink rail section to finish this off. So we need to shoot that back. Ow. Careful not to get hit. And jump to dodge all the spinning punches. Aiming is quite an interesting thing with this. But it's so cool being able to have this like super weapon basically to shoot back with. It's just so cool. Splatoon is just really good at final bosses. It's good at bosses in general, but final boss is incredible. Jump. Okay. Get that. That was good timing. I can't resist the groove any longer. Splat you, Squid Sisters. Don't try and be fancy trying to shoot before it gets to that point with its fist. Just wait for it to be in a good position. And really pay attention to dodging because you really need to. There we go. Let's go jump to the middle. Agent 4, head for Octavio from the inner ink rail. Now jump with B and hit him with X. I guess. I think I actually don't think you have to press any buttons, but anyway, there we go. Gah. Not again. Crossfade to black. Also, I think it's a cool note that that battle is b between uh, the Squid Sisters' colors. Y'all know what time it is. It's off the hook, coming at you live from Inkopla Square. Check it. Here are the current regular battle stages. Hold your seahorses, Marina. We have breaking news! Wait, what? The Great Zapfish is back! The Great Zapfish is back! Oh yeah! I'm so happy right now, I have to get a picture of this. Hmm, for some reason I remember it being bigger than that. 
Yeah, for real. Was it always that small? That's probably fine. Anyway, in other news, here are the current regular battle state. Wait, shut up, Marina. We've got another breaking news alert. But I didn't say anything. Holy carp, Callie's been found. Are you guys seeing this? Now that's news. Callie is back. Yay! If I didn't know if I'd ever see her again. We're glad you're back, Callie. Being the best is too e easy without competition. Seriously, it takes two to make the one and only Squid Sisters. Yo, Marina, let's drop a new track to celebrate. Good idea, Pearl. I've got just the jam. This next song request comes from Freshly Fried Boy. It's the new hit single from the Squid Sisters, Fresh Start. And that is Splatoon 2's single player, I guess. Although there's plenty more to do with trying to get all the weapons completed through every level. And once again, we also get to paint the credits, basically. And I really like that. You can also use bombs, of course, to make sure we get everything. Ugh, everything. But yeah, Splatoon 2 is really good. And Splatoon 3 is going to be even better, I'm, I'm sure. And that's just around the corner, so, at least from recording this. You need to get this out as soon as possible. Because I, I wanted to play Splatoon 1 and 2 because of Splatoon 3 coming out. I love that the bombs also sprayed the uh, opposite ink color, basically. It's such a good franchise. Just in general. There's also the... What's it called? The Octoling expansion. Which I might try out. Because I haven't done that before. But I know how good it is, so. And it's really good, so. There's also a reward for watching through the credits, I'm pretty sure, so... Although that might be after doing everything else, possibly. And I'm pretty sure it's just playing through normally.
Thank you for playing. And because we watched through the credits, we get the Hero Gear replica to use in multiplayer battles. We can also use, uh, we also got another Sardinium. So, we can do that now. Since we have all of the Sardinium, now we just need fish eggs to upgrade all of the weapons in the single player. But anyway, that is pretty, pretty much it for now, though, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, wait, hang on. I went into a thing already. <laughs> it's fine. Sneak peek. Hmm? Ah, Agent 4. I've been waiting for you. Thanks to you, both the great Zapfish and Kali are back, and peace has returned to Inkopolis. That being said, no one ex expect us... Uh... Except us... Knows what truly happened, so don't expect the city to throw you a parade or anything. It's like they always say, the path of the hero is the lonely one. Wait, they don't say that. But they say all sorts of things. Well, whatever. I was able to confine DJ Octavio in this snow globe. I'm keeping an eye on him to make sure he st stays at make sure he stays out of trouble. I'm going to slow roast him until Grandpa, I mean, uh, until the leader of the new Squidbeak Splatoon comes back. Let me out of here, I'm starving. Bahaha, <laughs> love it. Anyway, you've really impressed me. I can't thank you enough. Hmm? You're wondering about that? I had Sheldon put that there. It will allow you to listen to the latest single from the Squid Sisters. Fresh start. Anytime you want. Hope you like it. Stay fresh. So now we can watch the credits over here again if we want to. And also he's back in his snow globe, which has got a crack in it, so I'm sure he can't get out whatsoever or anything like that. But anyway, now it is it for now, so thank you all for watching, I'll see you next time. Have to do it quickly so it's over faster, now I have to draw it out, so you know, it's fine. Anyway.